Hi everyone, I am Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In continuation of our linear algebra series, in this video we will learn about 2D, 3D and ND points and we will also learn about distance between points and a lot of other stuff regarding coordinate geometry. You might have learned this coordinate geometry in high school but I just want to rephrase the sessions such that it will be easy for you to understand the upcoming sessions. So in coordinate geometry we have a 2D axis right. So what is a 2D axis? We have two axes x and y. It is x and it is y and both of them are always at 90 degrees separation. Clear? And moving forward, the x-axis I will call it as x1 axis and y-axis I will call it as x2 axis. You will understand why I am changing the naming conversion because it will be easy for you to understand or expand this 2D into n-dimensionality vectors. I have a point P at this point. That means the x1 component of this point is x1 let's assume this is x1 point or x11 point it could be anything and we have the y component which is x21 so x11 comma x21 or else i can use it as a comma b it could be any other stuff if it is a then i will mark it as a if it is b i will mark it as b right so i have a point in a 2d plane because i have only two axes and the axes are namely x1 and x2 and the point let's take it as a comma b so i will define the point equal to a comma b and here this a is called x1 component and b is called x2 component and this is how you will represent a point in a 2d plane and in the previous videos we have seen that for every topic, first we will understand it in 2D and then we will expand it into 3D and then we shall generalize the topic to the n dimensionality. Because we cannot assume or visualize more than 3D, it is always helpful to understand the topics in 2D first. So if I have to add the same point in a 3D plane, so let's assume I have this axis which is 3D axis which is namely x1, x2 and x3. So if I haven't changed the name from x to y, these would be something like x, y and z. And if I have to go for 5D, it, it could be easy if I name the convention as x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5 rather than x, y, z, a, b. So that is why I choose this naming structure x1, x2, x3 for the axis names. And I might have a point here which is of p and then i will have values a b and c so if i talk about 3d this a is called x1 component and b is called x2 component and c is called x3 component clear now i want to generalize this to n dimensional and as i cannot draw a n dimensionality axis here what i would say point equal to a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma up until a n so the first one would be your x1 component and this would be your x2 component and this would be your x3 component and likewise this is my xn component so that is how you will generalize a point in 2d 3D and ND. It could be of any dimensions, either it could be of 4, 5, 6, 20, it could be of any number of dimensions. But this is how you will represent a point in a higher dimensions. Now the second question that comes into picture is, what is the distance of a point from the origin? So let me take one more 2D plane, which is X2 here and I have x1 here and I have a point p which is a1 comma b1 let's assume like this 
that means if i project this point onto my x1 plane so this is my a1 so this is your 0 comma 0 and here i have b1 clear so the length here is a1 and the length here is b1 now if i someone asks you what is the distance of a point from the origin so this is the distance right so this is your origin this is called as origin and this is my point current p now i want to find this distance so let's assume the name as d so if you look at this point when i projected it is directly projected onto my x1 axis it is parallel to this line right and because these x1 and x2 axis are separated at 90 degrees even this is 90 degrees and you know the hypotenuse theorem right if there is a right angle triangle and it is of length a it is of length b and c equal to root of a square plus b square this is what hypotenuse theorem is so if i want to calculate the length of d i would need to calculate this one so this one is basically this length right so it is b1 and this one is a1 so my according to hypotenuse theorem my d will be equal to root of a1 square plus b1 square so this is distance of a point from origin hopefully that is clear now let's expand this to a three dimensional plane so let's say i have three dimensions like this x1 x2 and x3 so then my point p would be a1 comma b1 comma c1 if i generalize the hypotenuse theorem this is my origin i want to find this distance d dash so this distance d dash would be equal to a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square hopefully that is clear so if i have to generalize this for n dimensions so let's say my point p equal to a1 comma a2 comma up until a n now the distance from origin to this point is equal to square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus up until a n square this is how you will generalize for n dimensional data if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section below now let's talk about distance between two points so let's take a 2d by default as a learning example and i will draw a 2d plane here x1 and x2 and let's assume my point p is somewhere here and you have a1 comma a2 and i have another point called p2 then i will give b1 comma b2 now what i want to is i want to find the distance between these two points so how am i going to find it so what i would do is first i would project this point onto my x1 plane which is a1 and i would also project this p2 onto my x1 plane so which is b1 and then i will project it onto my y axis so which is b2 and i will project this point 1 on y axis as well which is a2 so if you look at it carefully this is 90 degrees so this is also 90 degrees so if i have to clearly make it out for you so this is a right angle triangle now i want to find this hypotenuse distance so how am i going to find it i need this distance and this distance and if you look at x axis this distance is b1 and this distance is a1 so the difference between these two is this distance so this would be b1 minus a1 clear similarly this would be a2 minus b2 is that clear now my distance d would be square root of a2 minus b2 whole square plus a1 minus b1 whole square i can write it as b1 minus a1 whole square as well because it is a square value no matter if it is a positive or negative at the end it is going to be a positive so if i have to generalize this formula this would be a1 minus b1 whole square plus a2 minus b2 whole square 
सो माई फर्स्ट एक्स वन कॉम्पोनेंट माइनस माई फर्स्ट सेकेंड एक्स वन कॉम्पोनेंट डिफरेंट स्क्वेयर प्लस दिस डिफरेंट स्क्वेयर अंडर स्क्वेयर रूट सो दिस वुड बी माई डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट इन ए टू डी प्लेन सो इफ आई हैव टू जनरलाइज दिस फॉर ए थ्री डी प्लेन सो लेट से आई हैव थ्री डी प्लेन माइ पॉइंट वन इक्वल टू ए वन कामा ए टू कामा ए थ्री एंड देन पॉइंट टू इक्वल टू बी वन कामा बी टू कामा बी थ्री नॉ मै डिस्टेंस वुड बी इफ आई हैव टू जनरलाइज ए वन माइनस बी वन होल स्क्वेर बिकॉज दिस माइनस दिस होल स्क्वेर प्लस दिस माइनस दिस होल स्क्वेर ए टू माइनस बी टू होल स्क्वेर प्लस दिस माइनस दिस होल स्क्वेर ए थ्री माइनस बी थ्री होल स्क्वेर सो दिस इज माई डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट इन ए थ्री डी प्लेन नाउ वाट अबाउट एन डायमेंशनलिटी प्लेन सो आई विल टेक द पॉइंट पी वन इक्वल टू ए वन कामा ए टू कामा ए थ्री अप अंटिल ए एन एंड पी टू इक्वल टू बी वन कामा बी टू कामा बी थ्री अप अंटिल बी एन नाउ माई डिस्टेंस वुड बी स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ ए वन माइनस बी वन होल स्क्वेर प्लस ए टू माइनस बी टू होल स्क्वेर अप अंटिल ए एन माइनस बी एन होल स्क्वेर सो इफ आई हैव टू स्टैंडर्डाइज दिस फॉर्मुला I would write square root of summation a i comma b i i equal to one to n whole square. So what this is? This is basically a one minus b one whole square plus because this is summation symbol a two minus b two whole square plus likewise up until i equal to n. So what I am doing? I am replacing the value of i as one two three four five and six. Up until a n minus b n whole square, and then on top of it, I am doing a square root. So this is my generalized formula for a distance between two points in any given dimension. Here n is the number of dimensions. Now let's take the same formula and apply from the first topic in which distance from a point to zero origin, right? So I have point P a one comma a two. So this is x one and this is x two. My point origin is zero comma zero. So if I have to have to find the distance between these two points, I will have to write square root of a one minus zero whole square. So this minus this whole square plus a two minus zero whole square. So this would be root of a one square plus a two square, which is the one that we have derived upper, which is Pythagoras theorem. So if you look at this formula, so it is similar to the same thing. Right, a one square plus b one square. So, if I have to convert or generalize the distance between two points in a given n-dimensional plane, I would have to find this problem like this. Hopefully, that is clear. If you have any queries so far, please let me know in the comment section below. I will reply to each and every one of you. Now, there is another topic which I want to introduce is row vector and column vector. so what is a row vector so let's say i have values like this a1 a2 a3 up until an so how many elements i have n elements and how many rows i have one row so the shape of this is one cross n right so if there is only one row and multiple column values this is treated as a row vector and what i want to do for column vector i will just transpose this so i will have a1 a2 up until an now if you look at it i have n records and only one column so the shape is n cross 1 so if my shape is n cross 1 this is called as column vector so now you might ask are there any other vectors yes if you look at this one a1 a2 up until an b1 b2 up until bn cd e1 e2 up until en so i have a b c d e which is of five rows and 1 2 3 4 5 up until n columns so it is of a cross b right in a given shape of a matrix if any one of them is value as 1 then we will classify it as either row vector or a column vector you can have that two dimensional or n dimensional vector as well but these two we will specifically call it as column vector and row vector hopefully that is clear i know this is little bit confusing 
but if you have any query at all please let me know in the comment section below and that's all for this video guys in this video we have learned what is a 2d axis 3d axis and a n dimensional axis how to define a point in 2d 3d and nd and then we have also learned distance of a point from origin in 2d 3d and nd and distance between two points and then we have also learned what is a row vector and what is a column vector hopefully everything is clear to you and if you learned something new from this video a sub to the channel would be amazing and click that bell icon to get notified daily and we will meet in the next video bye bye